Now, what did I say about going through the graveyard? You were just way too cute to be hanging around the dead. Well, Liz, that's like your thing? I don't want to come off all like I'm judging you. Though, you don't strike me as the Wednesday's Adams type. Surely there are better places to be hanging around than this dump? Oh, well, I'm here because you are here, you sweet little thing. You didn't think it was just going to be like a one-time thing, did you? Us meeting? Oh, I am way too curious about the new Slayer to not think about meeting you a second time. Or a third time. Or, or a fourth time, even. Not oh, rude. But I can't understand that, you know, being weary of the enemy and all. Something that your watcher probably, uh, you know, taught you all about. Honestly, he wasn't wrong. You know why, right? Well, because, see, vampires aren't really humans anymore. We're just, uh, I don't know, demons inside these human bodies. We think like humans did. But that's because we remember the humans that used to live in here. But really, we're just hungry animals waiting for the next bit of fun and blood to pass our way. Just shells of our former selves and now living in a life of endless night and death, soulless and inhumane parasites, really. Oh, wow. Uh, geez. You know, that was a bit morbid. Sorry about that. I usually don't like to get deep before breakfast. Whoa, whoa, easy, Slayer, easy. Like I said, no humans on the menu for me. I'll just stop by the old local Red Cross and pick up a couple bags. Not as good as from the source, but definitely better than Pig's blood. Blah, ugh, nasty stuff. Have you ever had pig's blood? <laughs> no, I wouldn't think you had. So the best way to compare it is, like, if you had a juicy homemade burger fresh off the grill, and then just, like, take and compare that to, I don't know, a burger from McDonald's. And you choose to eat the McDonald's. Oh, it's not good, sweetheart. Not to mention, even vampires have to watch our health. You know, human blood is nice and lean and good for you with lots of nutrients. Pig's blood will fill you up, sure, but you know, it's no real nutrients. Like most fast food, naturally. Oh, focused on your job, huh? That's cute. Though I was hoping you were more of a all-play-and-no-work kind of slayer. One that knows how to, you know, have a little bit of fun in her life. We can work on that, though. Maybe your watcher has you too wound up in school and patrolling. Maybe... You need someone to teach you how to have a little fun. Oh, come on, Slayer. You were only young once. Well, in your case, anyhow. Not to mention, Slayers typically don't last too long. Oh, that's not a threat, sweetheart. That's just a fact. Slayers tend to have shorter lifespans than most humans. You know, with the whole throwing yourself in constant danger and all that. <laughs> would, would it make you relax a little if I said, I already went on patrol for you? Oh, I swear it. In fact, there was about three of them. One of them even had this really nice jacket. Well, 
I couldn't just leave it with him before I made him dust. So I took the jacket, had a little fun with him, and now he's a pile of dust on the grave of one, uh, Mary Wineport. Ah, don't worry. The caretaker will get that cleaned up before her family decides to drop off the next batch of ugly flowers at her grave again. Honestly, they need better taste. Seriously, though, look at this jacket. Ah, oh, it's beautiful leather. Ah, oh, I bet you it's Italian. In all my years of living, Italians and the French have always had the best sense of style. And if you're going to live forever, might as well live forever in style. Oh. You look skeptical. It's actually a very cute look. Much better than the serious one you were trying to pull off earlier. Your nose does this, like, little scrunchy thing. Uh, much like a bunny would, really. Oh, there is an idea for a nickname. Maybe I'll just call you Little Bunny. And how comes the steak? Really, sweetheart? You need to learn to lighten up a little. Where was that quick wit I heard the other night? Very superhero-like of you. Oh, you know, that is a good question. Why did I kill them? Hmm. Hmm. Well, you do get right to the meat of the matter, don't you? I could learn to like that about you. Well, okay, there could be a variety of reasons, honestly. One, they were annoying. Okay. Two, they were on my territory and I don't like to share. Or three, they just pissed me off somehow. Oh, 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 here is one you might like, though. They were causing trouble for you and all the other little humans that live in this just wonderful town of yours. That's the one you want, right? Just a vampire trying to do good by his fellow neighbors. I really am shooting for the Model Citizen Award this year. You uh, think that little cleanup put me in good running? All right, there is the wit. See, now you are having a little fun. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I won't tell your watcher. Scout's honor, you know, if I ever was a scout. So, sweetheart, got any more riveting questions for me? Huh? Okay, so I might be sidestepping the first one, but that would give away, you know, all the mystery. And I feel like half of what is so intriguing about me is the mystery. See? Intrigue. You know, maybe a little later in the relationship, sweetheart. After all, this is only the second date. Why rush things? <laughs> so curious. Are all slayers born with that ridiculous amount of curiosity? You do know that it killed the cat, right? And it is proven to have done so on multiple occasions. <laughs> like I said, little slayer, patience, patience. Though, let me guess, new modern day way of doing this slayer thing. You can't be working alone, can you? You have your own Scooby gang. Oh, that is cute. Would it be wrong of me to assume they're trying to do their own research on little old me? And while I might seem like I am all fun and games, your little friends go prodding around in my past anymore. Well, I might not be able to hurt humans, but I can sure as hell give them a good scare. So, just be patient with me, sweetheart, and I'll tell you everything in good time. And as a reward for your patience, I'm going to even tell you where a little nest is hanging out on this very fine night. 
Well, I already took the evening shift. You're on the graveyard duty. Pardon the pun. All right, this way, little slayer. Hey, if we're quick, you know, we might even be able to stop them from feeding on the wasted college students I saw them hurting earlier. I bet you wouldn't want that on your conscience. Come on, 